Name's punk Bond. money. G-Funk punk money. Welcome back, gamers and gamerettes, to Skyward Sword. We are in Lanayru Desert. We are trying to get the final part of the Song of the Hero. I don't know where to go. Do I want to blow anything up? I... I guess I want to... Let me start by doing that. Now, I don't have a key, obviously, yet. But I'll see what's over here. Entry to the area ahead is only allowed by permission of the Thunder Dragon Lanayru. Ah. Ooh, what is that? Can I have? Ah, nice. Okay, what is that for? I don't know. Well, that ant just killed himself. Okay, so you said I can't go in here, but you know I've got to try. Oh, I had to go this way. Because I couldn't go that way because this wasn't alive yet. I don't think. Okay, well, I'm going where I'm supposed to go. I hope. stones here. Did you get permission from the Thunder Dragon, the Master Thunder Dragon, to come here like we did? Uh, yes. We were just about to transport this time shift, time shift stone to Master Thunder Dragon. There are many monsters. Practice extreme caution. How are you still talking to me even though you're dead? I don't know, but we will go. Button. 
<laughs> this is fun, actually. was dumb. That was my bad. The card's like, good job, idiot. <clears throat> okay, I don't think there was anything else over here, right? Please give me some stamina. Thank you. Boy, that came at a good time. I didn't know what to grab. I didn't see anything. I was doing so well, too. I did not see the grass. Oh, 
Oh, jeez. Oh, that's not right. One of those. Cool. Are there any more of them? Don't know, don't care. stuff going on here. Uh-uh, I ain't messing with you. Now you, I have to deal with. You're just in the way. that I don't know how I jumped that you saw me jump that <sighs> whatever it's fine Oh, you were, like, long gone. We got permission from our master, the Thunder Dragon, to dig for time shift stones. 
But Master Thunder Dragon is very ill right now. I'm worried about him. At this rate, our master may cease functioning. Yeah, dude, you don't look so good. <coughs> oh, hello. I haven't had a visitor like you here in quite a while. You're a human, aren't you? You must have some reason for coming this far. What is it? I see. So you're Link from the sky. <coughs> That's not much of a name, is it? How about I add a model number to your name like my friends have got? Maybe LD Link 16? Oh, I can tell you don't like the sound of that. That's a shame. So, what can I do for you? Oh? Uh, you say you need me to teach you a song? Hold on now, didn't you just say you came from the sky, Link? So then you're the hero chosen by the goddess, aren't you? I see. Well, that is something. Although I must apologize. You see, I can't really help you. I may have enough strength for a brief chat like this, but, well, as you can see, I am quite ill. I'm in no shape to sing. And to think, it was the goddess herself who entrusted me with this important duty. I feel the deepest shame. Um. Uh, on the other side of the bridge, we planted a seedling from the Tree of Life, which is said to bear fruit that can cure any illness. But trees don't grow so well around here. Oh, really? Well, can I get over there? And do something about that. We want a Master Thunder Dragon to get well. So we planted a seedling from the Tree of Life, which bears a fruit that is said to cure any illness. Uh-huh. sapling. Hold on, I want this box. Ooh, and I need that too. Are there any more of those around here? There sure are. Might as well grab them while you can. Master Thunder Dragon's condition has been bad for a long time, and the soil here is not suitable for growing trees. If only we had more time. Um. Well. We have the Life Tree Seedling. It is a very young form of a legendary tree whose fruit is said to cure any illness. What are you doing with that seedling? Master Thunder Dragon needs fruit from the Tree of Life to recover. Unless you mean to help our master. Well, of course. Really? Thank you. Make sure you plant the seedling somewhere. It will be sure to thrive. I fear growing the seedling to maturity in Lanayru Province is impossible. We're counting on you. Uh, then where do I put it? Oh, wait. Do I hit you from here? Could it be that I'm just dumb? Yeah, probably. Okay. I'm just that dumb. <laughs> Alright. You guys want to plant a tree somewhere, but you say it's not going to work here. Do you have any ideas? A, 
twice. This is Lunar Gorge, yes. This was the very first to be mine. The robots in the area were warned that the life tree seedling you possess must be planted somewhere other than on any apartments. I recommend locating a place that will provide ample time for the seedling to grow. Hmm. Don't know, I'll try the gate first. Um. Yeah, we'll go here. talk to you about it. Where are you? Oh, there you are. You wouldn't have to know anything about this, would you? So that's what happened to the woods. I'm glad to hear that everything has returned to normal. You must continue to gather the parts of the Song of the Hero. Time is short. Yeah, I know. I need your help. Can I go in here for anything? What's up? Oh, it's a matter of no great concern. Do you see that sunny patch of earth over there? I thought it might be nice to plant a tree of some sort there. I imagine it would please Zelda greatly to see a great tree welcoming her back when she wakes from her slumber. Oh, Empa, have I got a tree for you! Sadly, it's a rare tree that grows strong for thousands of years on end. If only I could find the seedling of such a hardy specimen. Oh, have I got something. At least I hope it works. Plant! There you go. Does that work? I'm gonna rest. Oh, so you planted a seedling. I sense great vitality in this sprout. With any luck, it shall grow into a stout tree that will live on for millennia. That's the idea. Oh, I gotta go in that way. <laughs> Bye! Hey! It has one fruit. Well, that's enough. Dude, check it! I planted a tree. <laughs> Oh yeah, now this is a tree I can look at all day. It's like a symbol for this temple or something. Every time I stare at it, my jaw starts hanging open and I get this weird happy feeling. Well, I'm gonna... <laughs> oh, I can't. How do I get that down? Oh, there we go. We got the live tree fruit. Eating this succulent fruit of legend cures any illness. Take it to the thunder dragon. You got it! <clears throat> oh, Koki.
Okay. Well, I guess if you miss one, you get the other. Justin Hunt. Justin, I have another job, that is. Your next job is to help pick the pumpkins. And I don't want to hear any moaning or complaining. <laughs> Fine. This should be an easy one for you. Kina spends her afternoons picking pumpkins in the patch out bag. Try to say that three times fast. Carry those to the storage shed. Kina can give you the details. Oh, but you can only work on the patch during the day. There's no telling what will happen under the night sky. Well, me and Keen. Never mind. Keen. Your dad wants some help. Hi. Hi. Oh, and your next job has been decided. Looks like you'll be helping with the pumpkin harvest. What a relief. You have any idea how heavy those pumpkins are? Oh yeah, you think this is going to be a piece of pumpkin cake, do you? That actually sounds pretty good. <laughs> Let's make this interesting. How about you carry five pumpkins at once? How about no? You better take it slow or you'll risk dropping them. Just get out there and haul those pumpkins. I'm busy. Let's do it. Okay, then. I'll show you where to need to carry the pumpkins. That or direction? See that storage shed up ahead? Carry the pumpkins there. The trick to carrying several pumpkins is that at once is to walk slowly. If they start to lean right, move right. Left, move left. Take your time and keep your balance. But if you panic and start to rush, well, you're going to drop them. So good luck. Riveting gameplay, right? Yeah. go left too far. Or so far now. Uh-oh. Oh! First try! I just knew you would come through. You managed to carry them all. I guess that means you're done carrying pumpkins. That's all you needed was five? Thank you very much. No problem. She's cute. Dude, I helped her. Are you happy? Is that all I needed to do? Oh, don't look like it. Oh, it's you. What should I have you work on next? Oh, yeah, you've got that interesting looking instrument. Uh, what? I've got it. I've got the perfect job for you, but that job can only be done at night. Wait until nightfall and come back and see me, alright? I will wait with bated breath to help you someday. Nah, I remembered him saying something about doing a job, that's why I came back to do it. But that uh, that one, I can wait. Alright, let's go to Lanayru. Dude, have I got something for you. Oh, Link, hello there. Is there something you need? 
Dude, I bring goods. <clears throat> it's a big honking rainbow fruit. Oh, oh, is that what I think it is? You brought that here for me, didn't you? And I throw it off the cliff. Oh, hope not. Oh, down the hatch. Zing a ding dang. Oh, you've done it, boy. I can feel the fruits effect surging through me. It's exhilarating. I feel like a proper dragon again. Just because I have eternal life doesn't mean I can't get mighty sick. Thanks to you, boy, this old dragon will keep on charging a while yet. I owe you a big thank you, so allow me to perform a moving rendition of my part of the Song of the Hero. Hold on, back up. You said eternal life. So, how come you were skeleton bones and stuff when I got here first? If How did you die if you have... Never mind. Sorry. I should warn you, I've got a mean set of pipes and I know how to use them. This will clean out those ears, boy, so brace yourself. sounded pretty cool. You learned part of the song of the hero. Link, I owe you my life. You have to let me repay you. You just did. Give me some time to, repair, to prepare, and when you next return to visit me, I believe you will be mightily pleased. Well done, Master. You successfully collected three parts of the song of the hero. I recommend you return to the sky and meet with the great sky spirit, Levias, to complete the song. I'll come back later. go now. Alright. Do I want to go in here, or do I want to go in there? Just full, so your item was sent to the item check. Well, fooey. Talk to you. Hi. Oh, I guess I do. Aha, so you've learned all three parts of the songs from the dragon. 
Song from the dragons, eh? You have done well, young man. True to my word, I will perform the last part of the song for you. <clears throat> you know the song, I trust you know what to do with it. That old song opens a door to a great trial. Should you succeed in conquering the challenge awaiting you there, I'm certain the path to the Triforce will be revealed to you. <sighs> a report, Master. I have determined that there is a trial gate somewhere among these floating islands. That can be opened by the song of the hero. I suggest you use your dowsing ability to locate it. Okay. <laughs> well. <laughs> I could be completely wrong. No, it's around here. Alright, well, let's see. I'm gonna go... See if I can upgrade anything first. I thought I saw you had a bubble. Seen the fortune teller much these days. He knew his crystal ball. You know his crystal ball got broken, right? You know, sitting at home kicking himself for not foreseeing this. Would you mind running over and checking out the moment? This house is on the eastern edge of Skyloft. Oh, well, I didn't even notice he was gone. Eastern edge of Skyloft. Okay. Hi. Yes, I will. Hi. I want to drop, uh, what is that? Potion. I don't have any potions on me, so I'm going to remove it. Treasure, I might hold on to that. Absolutely. What are these? Guardian potion. Ooh. I might hold off on that. 
Yes, you do. Otherwise, how do people know what you got? Don't give me no attitude. No, I don't want an air potion. I will take another one of those, though. Alright. Can you upgrade it? Wait, you're not getting much sleep at night? Why? Here's the thing. My house is terribly dirty. Pippet is always telling me to do some dusting around here, but I just can't bring myself to do it. You wouldn't mind cleaning it for me? I'll even pay you. You will? Great. I knew you wouldn't leave me to sit in this dusty house lane. What's that, a broom? I don't even remember where we keep the crazy thing, or if we ever own one. I just wait for a good strong wind to come along and blow the dust away. Blow it all away. Okay. Although I'm just making it worse, technically. Um, sorry about that. Do you want the cobwebs? But oh. I am destroying your house. I'm sorry. to my home. Thank you. You've brightened my day. Come over here and let me pay you. Mm. Thank you so much. I'm a sparkling clean again. It feels so much better than when the place is under a blanket of dust. Okay. Mm. I can't let you go without your reward. Well, that wasn't it. Money coming, 20 rupees! This place gets dusty again, I might need you to come back and tidy it up for me, but I'll pay you again. Oh, one more thing. Don't tell Pippa about this. He'll only get angry at me for spending money on something he thinks I should be doing myself. Uh-huh. I was hoping you were the fortune teller's place, but okay. I don't... No. Oh, this is probably yours.
Yeah, here we go. I'm fine. Go on, go on. Please leave me be. My crystal ball is shattered, and without it, my eyes can no longer gaze deeply into the future. It's almost as though these exquisite, all-seeing eyes of mine have begun to dull and cloud over with sadness now that my crystal ball is gone. If only, if only I had a new crystal ball to gaze into. Oh. Is it not true that you recovered a piece of the windmill from beneath the clouds recently? This shattered crystal ball was salvaged from below by Gondo's ancestor long before it found its way into my delicate hands. There may still be others like it where it came from. Would you search for a new one? Sure. No doubt you can see the gratitude in my eyes. The robot who originally retrieved this crystal ball was said to have reported that it found it in a building atop a mountain peak. Can you believe it? Your dazzling ability can be calibrated to locate the crystal ball this person is seeking. However, if you are searching for another object that someone has asked you to find, that target will be removed when you switch to this target. Do you wish to set the crystal ball as your dowsing target? I guess so. Understood. I'll set your dowsing target to the crystal ball. Yeah, I don't have any other thing marked. I'm counting on you, young man. Without my crystal ball, I cannot gaze into the future. Okay. A building on top of a mountain. Where in the world is that? Okay, fine. Oh wow, that sounded very much like the original music, or close to it. Thrust your sword into the center of the mark and open the way to the final silent realm. Hold on, I'm gonna save it. <laughs> I will do that in the next episode. I hope you enjoy this. I hope you enjoyed this. I know it was all over the place some, but I'm glad we're continuing. I'm glad we're making progress. If you did enjoy it, please leave a like, and I will catch you guys on the flip side. Thanks.